channel it's you girl uh it's straight like that and today i have a device that can make you some plant-based milk i know that sounds crazy uh but stick in there with me because we're gonna take this bad boy out and we're gonna utilize it and see like basically what it's gonna do um the reason why i looked into having a device like this is because if you haven't noticed, um, a lot of your healthy foods, <laughs> the reason why I do this is because um, you have to be careful on some of the ingredients that are on some of the organic foods and stuff like that because some of that stuff is processed and it's really not good to consume processed foods. Um, so just be careful, look at the ingredients in your food all the time because you never know what you're buying. So um, like I said, prices are going up, it's getting really expensive out there and milk almond milk has been crazy um if you look at oat milk almond milk um i want to say maybe what's the other thing oat milk almond milk um cashew milk and stuff like that some of the um plant-based milks that are in the store so if you shop at like um if you're in georgia and shop like places like kroger or sprouts or whole foods the re the prices have been increasing over time. I don't know what's going on, but yeah, we're gonna see if we can cut down some of these uh, costs. And so something like this will maybe hit you for, you know, like a hundred something dollars. I wanna say that my husband maybe have paid like 150 maybe for this device. Um, I made sure that I put the price in the details, um, but we were looking for something that was going to help us cut down some of the uh, food prices that we have. And so, Hopefully this will do exactly what we need it to do so we can go ahead and knock that out. And I want to be able to use a device like this that's gonna help save some money over the year. So let's just get into this review. So this is what is in the box when you first open it up. We give you a thank you card for purchasing. We get a winning combos. <laughs> Go nuts for, and then, and then it shows that. Oh, so it looks like you can do, let's see, use the following table to try some popular milk and nut and seed combination for the milk made. So you can do some combinations, I'm assuming. Hmm, sweet. Okay, so we have a booklet, a recipe book, that's what it looks like, recipe, recipe book, okay, so you won't have to completely look stuff up, you have some recipes in here for you to try, but yeah, and then... I guess it's, yeah, this is information about the device itself and probably instructions as well. So, yeah. Here is the device out of the box. Um, so, it comes with this picture. And also, it comes with a little measuring cup as well. And we're just going to do almond milk today. So, what I do have... Are these almonds? We're gonna use these by Blue Diamond. And the instructions for that, I believe, for a small was like three fourths of a tablespoon, and then um, you can do a 10 fluid ounce. So that's what we're going to do. So I have my husband helping me. So he's gonna pour it to, since we're making a small, do 10, 10 fluid ounce. Stop at that line right there. The next instructions is to press the cover lock release button at the top of the machine to open the grinding com um, compartment, pour the dried ingredients into the compartment and close the lid. So I'm assuming it's that little part right there. Uh, let's see. Is it this? Oh, yep. There we go. So it's this little button over here pops open and then you can see the grinder 
Okay, so make sure that your glass pitcher is put in there and locked in place. Also, this is how it looks when you plug it up. It does have like almost like a little LED type of look. I think that's pretty cool. So at this point, you need to make sure that you um, select uh, which program you want to do. In this one, we're going to do Almond. So I'm going to go ahead and press. Oh, look like it's already on Almond. Because if I go to Macadamia or Soy, let's see. Let's see if we can make this work correctly on. Okay. Is it? Oh, okay. So you want to select, you just hit select. And when you hit select, see, we're doing almond. So we're on almond. The next step, you need to choose um, the volume. So we're going to do 10, but I'm going to show you how it looks. That's 20 and that's 10. So we're going to keep it at 10. Okay, so I've already put in the, I went ahead and just did a tablespoon because three fourths, I don't know, it's just kind of weird to me, but I went ahead and just did a tablespoon. And so um, we're going to go ahead and pour it in here. All right. And it says to press the start button to begin if you're making a 24 ounce of milk, 12 to 16 minutes, I'm assuming, um, or second, I think that's second, will be displayed on the control panel. If you selected 10 fluid ounce, um, it's five to 12, which will be displayed. So I only close the top and it just start doing its thing. So. Um, I really didn't have to press start, but as you can see, it's already starting to process from the looks of it. Um, let's see, the milk may will remain solid for a few minutes as it begins to steam and pre-soak the ingredients. Okay, that's good because I was like, okay, what's going on here? Um, let's see. And also, I want to make sure that this top is on here correct. I don't think this is correct, so I'm going to actually turn it around like, well, actually, I'm going to keep the top off because the milk needs to make sure it goes in there. I think this is just to make sure it doesn't splash all over the place um, when you're pouring it out. Let's see, as the milk mate um, enters the grinding and blending phase, there will be some noise. So it is gonna get a little noisy. So yeah, just uh, be ready to hear a little bit of that noise here in a minute. This is what I bought from Target. Um, I had my husband end up getting one that was from um, Amazon, but it wasn't that big. And so I found this in Target for like $8. So if you want to go and grab this, you can. Um, but as you can see, it comes with like a little um, plastic top here. And then it has like this little dip right here where you can pour it out. Okay, so you actually do need to make sure you keep the lid on so when it comes out of the machine, it doesn't splash. So that is one of the helpful tips that's in the instructions. Just the FYI. Okay. That's a little steam. So be careful. All right, so now we have our freshly made almond milk. Now it is pretty hot. 
So what I'm going to do is put this in the refrigerator and we're gonna let this chill out and we're gonna come back and take a sip of it to see how well it tastes. Okay, so um, I know I said that you need to make sure that you have enough water in here. So make sure there's enough water or the machine will be. Uh, make sure to open the lid and pour more water into the tank until it reaches the cleaning mark. Um, the milkmaid will beep again when it has finished the cleaning cycle. Empty and clean the water, um, the waste water basin. So this is it in the back. You got to pull that out. Um, let's see. And after the machine has finished its cleaning cycle, open the grinding. Let's see the grinding compartment cover to naturally air dry the um, compartment. So don't use anything extra to make sure that you know you let it naturally air dry out. So for this, you can actually wash it and then let it air dry. It's done cleaning. Let's go ahead and pop it open so it can air dry. And the little basin is at the bottom, so we're gonna pull that out. We're gonna taste it. Definitely can taste the almonds. So if you don't like almonds or it may be a little bit overwhelming to you, I would definitely do like ingredients in for the vanilla. If you're making vanilla almond milk, you wanna put those ingredients in there, which is in the book. And um, you'll have like a little bit more sweetness because this does not have any sweetness at all. It's very natural. It's very, very much organic. So yeah, De definitely some good stuff. But if you want it sweet, I would suggest looking up the, at those instructions for those ingredients. I hope that you all enjoyed this review today. Um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and turn on the notifications so you'll know when the next video is available. Um, I do think that this device is going to be a long time friend for me and my family. Um, so we did purchase, you know, warranty just in case. So I would suggest purchasing warranty for something that, you know, could be like um, down the road, maybe give you some issues of electronical device, um, because we know that some of these devices aren't built for a lifetime. So make sure you do that. Um, and make sure to go and check out my other videos. Make sure that you also share my videos and let everyone know that what I'm doing over here. And for those who have subscribed to my channel, thank you so much and welcome. Um, and that anyone is new, um, make sure you subscribe so you can get more of these awesome videos over here. We love to do reviews on products, traveling, and um, also reviews on subscriptions. I have one that's coming, so it's taking a little bit. So hopefully that'll get here on time. But as soon as I get it, I'll make sure to go ahead and do a review on that as well. All right, you guys. So it has been real. So anyways, your girl straight like that. We out. Peace.